With the 2022-23 season, the New York Phil explores some of the most relevant questions of our time. The four major themes of our new season are home, liberation, earth, and spirit. Beginning with home, the season opens with an invitation to the community to experience the reimagined David Geffen Hall. Music director Jaap van Sveden leads three premieres in our season opening festival, works by Etienne Charles, Marcos Balter, and Caroline Shaw. The Welcome Home Festival, month-long festival, where we will entirely throw open the hall. There will be performances in the sidewalk studio, and people can come and walk around the hall, enjoy it, experience different parts of it. Liberation explores social justice and equity through the voices of black creators. The Philharmonic has commissioned Courtney Bryan to write a new work with librettist Taswell Thompson. The program, which also includes music by William Grant Still and Adolphus Hailstork, will be conducted by Leslie B. Dunner and directed by Taswell Thompson. The use of video and projections will act as not only the scenic background, but it will set the atmosphere. Spirit is an exploration of humanity's place in the cosmos and the resilience of the human spirit. Music director Jaap van Sveden will conduct Messiaen's Taranga Lila Symphony and Bach's St. Matthew Passion in the work's first New York Phil performance in 15 years. It has been a huge wish to finally play this incredible piece in New York. And I'm so honored and happy that we can do this in our new hall. I've specially waited with this piece so we can use the new acoustic. It's a spiritual uh, journey inside and I hope that this event is going to bring the music not only in the hall but brings it after the concert home with you. Earth focuses on our changing planet and calls us all to action in the face of our unraveling climate crisis. The orchestra will give the New York premiere of Become Desert by John Luther Adams and the world premiere of Julia Wolf's new multimedia oratorio, Unearth. Well, I'm really excited to get back in the room again with the New York Philharmonic, with the Crossing, and the Young People's Chorus of New York, and address a really poignant, well, I guess desperate in a way, subject that's been a very strong concern and interest of mine over the years, looking at climate change, looking at how we are accelerating change on this earth, even though we are a tiny part of it. This season begins a new chapter, where we'll explore today's most vital questions and make deeper connections with our audiences in a revitalized home for New York's orchestra. Think of what this will mean for our musicians. It is a life-changing moment for them, but also a life-changing moment for the musical life of New York. It's a journey that's been harrowing at times along the way, but it makes reaching the destination that much more joyful.